Wallets, jewelry, mask, pins, and ceramic arts are just a few of many products for sale at the Big Gay Valentine Market on February 12th. Michael Lau, creator of Triangle Manor, says he enjoys having fun through art and exploring different venues. Specifically our group of folks in the Art Collective, we're all queer, we're all part of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, we're all furries, we're all a bunch of weirdos who love to do art basically. So, you know, this collective is, we made it to help support all of us and help bring us up if we can. A drag queen who goes by the name Coleslaw says she is excited for the event and that the attendance shows that there should be LGBTQ events more often. Well, I'm performing at this event and I'm here to like have some fun and see all of the wonderful vendors, local queer artists. Serving over 1,200 small businesses every year, New England's Open Market CEO Chris Massey says they have hosted events for over 20 years. You know, we just think that um, it's important to get for um, the LGBT community, artists, makers, designers, to have a place exclusively for them to sell to the public. After two years of LGBTQ events, the New England Open Market says they're looking to host a Pride Market in the coming months. Kiara Smith reporting for BUTV.